The island had been looking for a solution to electricity problems for many, many years. Um, before Egg Electric came about, each house was independently powered by either a generator or a microhydro. It was very expensive, it was very dirty, noisy, and also it was very unreliable. You couldn't have 24-hour power until we finally came upon the idea of having a, a system which combined the three renewable sources of wind, sun and hydro. This system is unique in that it's the first time that the three renewables has been integrated into a grid. Transformers are also distributed along the grid which distribute the power to all the houses on the island. The system was switched on um, on the 1st of February 2008 and uh, it was a wonderful day. This is an owl meter and basically it, may, it tells us how much electricity we're using so that we can't use more than 5 kilowatts otherwise there's a trip switch which will cut out our electricity. We usually make sure we don't use too many things at one time and switch something off before we turn something on. Bye. You always have to think about it when you're buying an appliance. Uh, I mean our toasters low wattage, our kettles low wattage. And you have to think about when you use stuff. It's in everybody's head and the power's really very, very reliable nowadays. There are several ways in which we're trying to reduce CO2 emissions apart from egg electric. Um, that includes insulation, so people use less fossil fuels if that's what they're using to heat their houses or their water. Solar thermal water, simple sort of energy saving devices that people don't have ordinary light bulbs anymore, everybody has low energy ones. People tend to be very aware of how much power things use. They we have a red traffic light sign and a green traffic light sign, which are basically posters which are put up when our renewable sources are low, which is mainly in the summer months. And what happens then is the diesel generator has to kick in. So by letting islanders know that renewable sources are low by a red light or a green light, then people can reduce their power demand at any one point. Another example of how we're trying to reduce CO2 is trying to get people to use their cars differently. And one of the simplest ways was to encourage people to share lifts more often. We have something called the Green Team. We encourage everybody from EGG to come along to Green Team meetings to really to discuss what they think of what, what we've been doing so far and where we think we might take things further. We're trying to encourage visitors to think about their experience while they're on EGG, to think about how they might reduce their CO2 and energy use when they get home. Anybody, any community that's got a renewable system, they're asking, would they have an autumn day? And we could easily put a wee flyer together saying whichever and just behind people coming off the boat. Yeah. Oh yeah. Hello. 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 Forty pounds worth of electricity. Yeah. Yeah. There we are. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. We'll see you later. Bye. See you later. The electricity especially has just made a huge, huge difference for me as a business because we were working on limited generator power, whereas now oh, I don't really have to worry about anything anymore in there. What that 24 hour power has enabled is produced employment for people, but it's also provided new business opportunities for people. The original design of the scheme was intended to allow for 50% increase in domestic properties on the island. Well, this is uh, actually my son's house. Uh, he's just building this so behind the polythene there, it's actually a straw bale construction and uh, slab insulation inside as well and uh, again high performance windows and, and this will get a very high energy rate. Everybody I think is, is now making big efforts to be more energy efficient. Egg electric scheme will save the island between 150 and 200 tonnes of carbon dioxide per annum. Technology plays its part and we wouldn't have the scheme that we have here were it not for technology. But the primary thing is the change in people's approach. A lot can be saved by behaviour change, by the choices that we make. When you live in a city, the infrastructure is already there for them to use. So it's in smaller communities where the population is so low that it is a bit harder to do. Egg Electric and all that we've done in Egg to reduce energy has been a, a community activity. But uh, any community can be an island, um, a tower block, an office, a school, a street, a village. Um, and a group of people can work together to try and
think about how much energy their community uses. Certainly on egg, one of the main things has been changing people's perceptions of what is actually involved and the fact that it isn't that hard to be green.